Folks, let's take just a few minutes here to learn the basics of MLA formatting. I'm also going to show you in this brief tutorial how to set up the first page of your essays. For this course, we're always going to follow the most recent iteration of MLA. At this point, it is the seventh edition. Some basics that you have to know, size 12 times New Roman font for everything. There's nothing in your paper that will be any different size or any different font. You also always have to double space. The paper will be uniformly double spaced throughout with no extra spaces between any information until you get to the works cited page. That will start on a new page. You have to have your own original title and that is centered on the first page along with some other information that I'll cover. Each paragraph is indented one half of an inch. You also have to make sure that you follow standard grammar and capitalization rules. For example, if you find a title that is not capitalized, you will capitalize it, even if in its original form it's not capitalized. Okay, so let's talk first about the first page. You have to have some information on the first page and it has to be done in a specific format. You have to have your page numbers and your last name in the header. You have to put some identifying information on the first page. You have to have your title and it has to be centered. So let's look at what that's going to look like. Now, it's not important that you can actually see the words I'm typing, but here it is important that you understand the elements of your first page. So first things first, we have to add our page numbers and we have to add our last name. So we wanna get into the header and the way you do that is by putting your cursor at the top of the page and double clicking. So now I'm in the header. The first thing I wanna do is add my page number. So I'm going to go here to the top to insert. I'm going to go over here to page number I'm going to click on top of page and then I'm going to select plain number three. Notice how I've now inserted the page number. Now I want to put my last name in. Add a space. Now one thing that you have to remember here is that sometimes this will default to a different font so you want to select it, go back to home, and make sure that it's all Times New Roman 12. Okay, to get out of the header, double click in the body. There we go. Now you're where you need to be. You also want to make sure that you check your margins at this point. So here we're going to go to page layout we're going to go to margins and we want to make sure that we have one inch all around. Now Word will not default to one inch all around so you want to make sure that you check that before you start typing. Information on the first page is as follows. Your name first. your professor's name next and you can put that however you want to put it it can be just the last name it can say for example in my classes professor marshall dr marshall whatever you want to put there is fine you also want to include identifying information about the course and finally you want to put the date the date must be formatted in a specific way. It's always the day first, the month next, the year after. Now notice that this is single spaced. We do want everything in our paper to be double spaced uniformly with no extra spaces between. So now is a good time to set that up. I'm going to highlight this information. I'm going to select page layout from the top if it's not already selected. And I'm going to go and click the little thing here that says paragraph settings. Now, here we want to make sure that we have zero, 
zero, none, zero, zero, and double. Now, if you want to at this point, you can set that as your default. So every time Word opens up, it's going to open up that way. If you don't want to set it that way, just click OK. And notice now that I am double spaced. The next thing I want to add is my title. And again, uniform double spacing throughout until we get to that works cited page. Here I'm going to click the Home tab. I want to center my title, so I'm going to click here. And I'm going to add my original title, whatever that is. Now I'm ready to start typing my paper. Notice how I'm still centered. I want to go back over here to left margin justified. Remember that we have a one half inch indent here. All right, so now we're ready to begin writing. The first paragraph is going to be your introduction. So you follow here a standard five paragraph format. Doesn't matter how many paragraphs you have in the middle. The point here is that the introduction has certain components, the body of the paper has certain components, and the conclusion has certain components. So you want to make sure that you get all of these components into each section. Your introduction must contain a thesis statement. I must be able to identify that. Oftentimes the thesis statement will come right at the very beginning or right at the very end of the introduction, and it will be clearly identifiable. You're not going to write my thesis statement is, but you are going to make a statement that encompasses the main point of your paper. Next in your introduction, you're going to include your supporting points that you plan to discuss in your paper, and this is as many points as needed Generally speaking, again, you're going to have three well-developed points in your paper at a minimum. You may have more. So let's see what that looks like. So now, as you can see, I've typed my first paragraph. And that paragraph contains the basic information that I'm going to include in my paper along with my thesis statement. Now it's time to start writing my paper. Each paragraph after the introduction expands on each one of those main points in the order that I presented those main points in my introduction. So I want to make it easy for my reader to follow my introduction through my paper. That should not be a difficult thing for any reader to accomplish if they're reading your work. Each of those main points in the body is now going to be expanded upon by using reference material to back up your main points. Again, the expectation in this class at a minimum would be three well-developed main points. You may have more. Once you've finished writing your paper, you're going to add your conclusion. You're going to reiterate the main point, and you're going to synthesize your argument here. Your conclusion should not have any new material or evidence in it. It is just a reiteration of the material that you've already presented. All right, so here we can see that we've started writing our paper, and I'm just going to skip down to the last page now. All right, here's our last page. Notice how everything is just uniformly double-spaced all the way through the paper. My final paragraph, my conclusion there, and then I'm going to go to the next page, and the easiest way to do that is by clicking on Insert, and then Page Break. Once I add that page break, I will jump to my Works Cited list, and that's how we do it. All right, notice that the Works Cited list is, again, uniformly double-spaced. It has what we call a hanging indent, and it is in Standard Capitalization Protocol. Okay, we'll cover Works Cited in another brief presentation. Let me know if you have any questions. Take care.